Hi everyone and welcome back to Tea Time Diaries. In today's video, I want to share some of my fall favorites. So I want to share fall teas that I've been enjoying that are new to me that I recently purchased and are really delicious. I want to share that with you guys. And I also want to share some really easy to prepare but yet very yummy and delicious fall inspired like bite-sized foods that you can include in your next fall tea party. Now I am going to uh, be hosting a tea party sometime in the near future. It's coming guys. Um, but I wanted to share some of the like fall treats that I've been really enjoying that I plan on um, I plan on using for um, or serving I should say that's the word I was thinking about that I'm planning on serving on the day of that tea party which will be towards the end of the month so again you know just be on the lookout for that it'll come in a future video but yeah I wanted to share some really quick and easy but delicious fall inspired treats that you can serve at your next afternoon tea party but I wanted to start off with, I wanted to start off with the teas because I just finished having breakfast and I'm about to enjoy my first cup of the day <laughs> so I just wanted to kind of share the teas with you first and then later on in the day um, I'm going to go ahead and show you these really quick and easy yet delicious of uh, treats that you can serve for afternoon tea. Um, all right, so first of all, let me show you this teacup that I purchased recently. Let me just take out this tea infuser that I'm using. Okay, so look at this teacup. Isn't this precious? I love the beautiful warm orange colors, yellows, and blacks that it has. It's so reminiscent of fall to me. So I'm just giving you a look, uh, a view of that. And then this is the saucer, right? Oh, I had a little bit of, of tea on there. And um, this is from the Heritage Collection. So this is Royal Albert Heritage Collection. So I found this teacup in the best way ever, right? So I was I was visiting uh, the Dallas Fort Worth area, as you guys saw in one of my recent videos. And if you didn't catch that, sorry, I'm just like organizing my stuff here. Um, if you didn't catch that, that was a recent video and um, I'll be sure to leave a link for that one in the description box below or I'll leave a card. But I was visiting Dallas Fort Worth area, visiting family, and I went to a, a consignment thrift store and while I was there I saw this teacup and I was just so excited about it. Um, it was really the only teacup there that I can recall and it happened to be Royal Albert which is one of my favorite brands for teacups and it just was like fall in a cup right and I actually posted a picture of this on my Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram but you are on Instagram I would love for you to follow me there because I do post pictures and um, different things while like it's a way to interact with me in real time basically so um, shortly after I purchased this I posted a picture of it it's just such a beautiful teacup again now that it's a little sunnier and the lighting is better I'll show you again it um, it's been very cloudy and rainy here in New Jersey so it's hard to to get good lighting but the sun popped out so I wanted to show you that one more time but yeah um, it was really incredible the way that I found it um, just because I wasn't expecting to find it there it was like more of a clothing consignment store and I went there for the purpose of shopping for clothes so the fact that I found a teacup for me was kind of serendip serendipitous I was like oh my gosh this is so great um, anyway it was eight dollars it was eight dollars which was 
the best part of it all is that it was very inexpensive um, and it doesn't have any chips on it or anything it's really great so um, i'm using it to have my morning tea and i'm not going to talk too much because i don't want it to get cold but um, i'm enjoying the the cup with some pumpkin bread that i made um, a few days ago so let me go ahead and share the teas with you so during um during the summer this was in like mid late august i went to florida with my family and we ended up going to panama city and on the boardwalk there is a spice and tea exchange which is one of my favorite stores i love going there um when i went to dallas i also went to the spice and tea exchange this one was in the stockyards though in fort worth and i saw so many cute things and i i didn't purchase anything just because um you know i was on vacation and i had already spent a bit of money so i didn't purchase anything but i do want to go back eventually to get the items that i saw because they were super cute but in any case i did show those items on instagram um, in my stories but when i was in florida i did purchase two teas and then one of them was gifted to me by one of my cousins who was there with me he was very sweet he saw that i had an interest in in that tea and he purchased it for me um, but let me share that with you so these are all from the spice and tea exchange which i'm sure you guys can order these online if you wanted to or you can go to a store if you have one that's local to you but this is the first one this is the creme brulee green tea and i've had other teas that had like that creme brulee flavor but generally they were always black teas not green tea so this was the first time i saw it as a green tea and it does taste really really good I do prefer to drink green tea over black tea because it just has more antioxidants in it so it's a little bit healthier so I do prefer to have green tea over black tea so when I saw this flavor in a green tea I had to purchase it and it really is very delicious. It has uh, caramel notes, what else, let's see, apple, cinnamon, rose hip cacao nibs and uh the caramel creme brulee flavor and then corn flour so um yeah this is the first one that i've been enjoying then i have um the second one that i purchased was a caffeine free herbal infusion and this one's called banana nut muffin Tea. and it really does taste like a banana nut muffin in a cup it's really really delicious and I actually had this with banana bread that I made and so the combination was of course really good and um, it does have oh it doesn't have I thought it said that it had walnuts in it but it doesn't it's actually nut free which is really which is really good and it has honey bush apple cinnamon cacao nibs natural flavor for banana and chestnut and then it has marigold so this is another one that i've been really really enjoying this fall season and then we have the vanilla pecan this one's my favorite out of the three they're all good but this one's my favorite actually that's the one that i am going to be drinking shortly um this is vanilla pecan uh oolong tea so it's a oolong tea which is nice because oolong tends to be in my opinion like a little bit nutty in the flavor so it goes really well with you know other nuts like pecans and things like that so this has uh, oolong tea cacao nib natural pecan flavor natural vanilla flavor and then it also has corn flour and yeah those are the three teas that i have been enjoying so those are my fall favorites in terms of tea i did share uh, a pumpkin 
tea, a pumpkin chai tea, and an apple chai tea that I've been enjoying as well. But that was the video before this one. So if you didn't see that video, go ahead and check it out. Um, because I've been enjoying those as well in the form of like iced teas in the afternoon. But these teas I do drink warm and they are delicious. So um, I'm just gonna go catch up on some work and do a few things and then I'll meet up with you guys again shortly to show you the fall inspired uh, bite-sized foods that you can include in your next tea party. So I'll see you soon. All right guys, so it's mid-afternoon now, so I am going to just show you the snacks that I'm going to be preparing. And like I said, the whole point of this is to share with you things that I would actually serve at a tea party. Um, they're going to be small, bite-sized foods, and they are going to have all of the fall flavors that we all love during this time so i have two savory items and then i have one dessert item and again these are quick and easy to make with simple ingredients and they're delicious so let's start off with the first savory item which is basically i use pita crackers you can use any kind of cracker that you want and I'm going to show you once I have everything ready, I'm going to have it assembled on a tray so you can see what it looks like. Again, if you were to serve this at a tea party, you would see what it would look like on a tier tray. Um, but again, these are really easy to assemble. So I'm not going to show you um, like how to assemble it. I'm just going to go over the ingredients and then show you the finished product. So you have these, uh, I'm gonna use uh, pita crackers, but you can use any kind of cracker that you want. So I use a cracker, and then on the cracker, I put cream cheese. Now again, you guys know I like to keep it plant-based, so I'm using a plant-based cream cheese. I use uh, this one from Violife because, again, it has a nice flavor to it. And with plant-based products, it could be hit or miss with with the product you know it could be either really good or, or really bad and this one is is really good so i'm going to use this but you guys can use regular cream cheese and that's totally fine as well so you want to use cream cheese and then to give it that fall flavor i use pumpkin butter from trader joe's but again you can find pumpkin butter in a lot of shops and grocery stores during this time of the year. Um, I get mine from Trader Joe's, but again, any pumpkin butter will be fine. You can even do apple butter if you wanted to, instead of pumpkin butter if you don't really like pumpkin, but I love the flavor of pumpkin, um, and I like this product from Trader Joe's. So I put the cream cheese on the cracker, then I put some pumpkin butter on it, and then to take this over the top, I drizzle some uh, hot honey or spicy honey sauce on top of it and it's not spicy where you can't eat it it's not a high level of spice but it's just like that right amount of heat and it tastes really good like it's just a really nice um, mixture right with the sweet the savory from the cream cheese and then this the little hint of spice and sweet from the hot honey it's a really really delicious bite so i think you guys should consider giving it a try um so that's the one little bite-sized food and again you can have these on crackers or if you wanted to maybe elevate a little bit more maybe you can do like one of those small uh, little bread toast you can do it on that if you wanted to elevate it a little bit but I think it looks nice on a cracker as well so uh, again I'll show you what the finished product looks like and it's just that perfect bite which is perfect for the small foods that are typically served at an afternoon tea party <coughs> minimal preparation which is also good all right this next product is also from Trader Joe's and I have featured this in previous uh, fall videos before and those are the uh, spicy pumpkin samosas 
And again, depending on how much heat you can tolerate, I know everyone's uh, spice level is different. I don't find them to be very spicy. Maybe someone else might, but I think that they have just the right amount of spice, in my opinion. Um, but they're really good, um, and they do have, you know, that that pumpkin flavor, along with some other ingredients that are really good. And again, these are small little bites. You can have them on your tier, on your bottom tier tray for your savories, along with the crackers, and maybe some a type of sandwich like a fall inspired sandwich. Um, you can do that for your, for your savory dishes. So this is really good and it gets really easy to make. I pop these in the air fryer for, depending on the amount that I'm making, but like typically 10 minutes is good for, um, for a serving size, I do about 10 minutes. And they taste really good and they're easy to make again like very effortless so again i'll show you what these look like and one thing that's really good too that you can do is you could use the pumpkin butter as a dip for the samosa so typically with samosas it's served with some kind of chutney like a mango chutney but instead of using a mango uh, chutney if you wanted to make it more fall you could use the pumpkin butter as sort of your, your dipping sauce or your chutney and it tastes really really delicious so that's like a dual function for the pumpkin butter which is always nice so those are the two savory items that i'll be preparing and showing you in a few minutes and then we have the dessert item that can go on your uh, top tier with your desserts and that would basically be a maple flavored rice crispy treat so at trader joe's all of their marshmallows are vegan which are great um i think that their marshmallows taste awesome i mean like i said they, they only sell vegan marshmallows there and it's a popular item so i would assume most people like them even though they are plant-based but again you can use any kind of marshmallow that you want um, the point is that they would have some type of fall flavor to them. So they could be like pumpkin or they could be maple. Um, these are mini maple marshmallows. And I'm going to melt these down like, you know, how you would traditionally make Rice Krispies. I'm going to melt these down with some butter. And then I'm going to throw in this puffed rice cereal to make these uh, rice crispy treats but again they're gonna have those fall notes fall flavors and it's good because it's not pumpkin right you don't want to have you don't want to serve everything at a tea party pumpkin flavored unless everyone really likes pumpkin you could do that um, but I like to mix it up with different things apple um, maple pumpkin those are all flavors that are very uh, reminiscent of fall uh, sort of quintessential flavors of fall right so um that's the dessert item again very easy to make it's ready in no time quick to prepare so i'm going to prepare these things and then i will show you what everything looks like on a tray all right so i'll see you in a few minutes once i'm done preparing everything okay guys here is the finished product and I wouldn't serve it like this but I am going to eat this so I like to just make things look nice um, but basically again on the bottom tier tray with my savories I would have the crackers with the cream cheese and the um, the pumpkin jelly and then I sprinkled the I mean I poured the the honey on top so that you could see that it's there, that uh, you know you could be a bit more neat with it or you can keep it a little bit more rustic. And then here's the pumpkin samosas and I put some of that pumpkin butter in this little um, dish here so I can you know dip it. And then here is my maple flavored rice crispy treat. And this of course would go on the top uh, tier with all of the other desserts. But again, I put that in this little snack tray because I am gonna go ahead and enjoy this now.
but these are the quick and easy uh, bite-sized foods that I was talking about that would be perfect for your next fall afternoon tea. So I hope that you guys uh, will give these a try. All right, everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and close the video here so I can enjoy my, my little treat. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video real soon. Comment below what are some of the recipes that you have for your fall afternoon tea that are quick and easy to make. Um, I would like to, to try them and I'm sure everyone else in this community would appreciate it. So put it in the comments below. Make sure you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that now. I will see you guys next time. Have a tea-rific day. Bye!